I'm back in Tacoma and I'm back in hyperdrive working on new things. Here's what we're doing today. So the back of the sauna is finished and it needs to be sealed because cedar wood is a very soft wood and if you don't treat it with anything it's going to turn kind of like a gray grayish silvery color and we want the sauna to look as nice as possible for as long as possible everybody and their grandma has different recommendations for sealing wood i'm going based off of what willie recommended because in my book he's the master of wood and so he recommended an oil-based wood sealer. This one's made by Sunfrog. I literally don't know anything about this product other than Willie recommended it, and so did the guy at the hardware store. They both swore by this product. And it's also clear because I want to retain the color of the wood. Here's a caution. So when you go to treat wood with anything, keep in mind that wood is porous like a sponge. So anything that you put on it, whether that be a stain, you know, what else, what else can you put on wood? I'm not so smart in this kind of, in this terminology. So whether you put a stain or a varnish, there you go. That's a good word, varnish or a sealer on the wood, it's actually gonna penetrate down to the core, which means that if you don't like the varnish that you use, you're not gonna be able to sand it off because it's gonna be permeated through the wood. This is all to say that you wanna be very careful and cautious before you treat your wood. And so it's nice to do a couple of tests before you go big. Luckily, Sergey was smart this time around and he kept a couple of the remnant pieces of tongue and groove cedar and he's going to conduct a test here and now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this wood sealer to the same type of wood that's on my sauna. I'm going to let it dry out, make sure I like it. I have these cedar wood uh, Adirondacks chairs. I might as well seal one or two of them up because it's still relatively low risk. So I might conduct a second test there. And then once I'm happy with the results and only once I'm happy with the results, will I turn it around and actually use it on the sauna. It's been about 12 hours since I conducted my wood sealer tests. Let's see how they turned out. Here are my boards. Right here, you see plain cedar with no wood sealer. This one right here has one coat and this one has two coats. So on this piece, I applied one coat, waited for it to dry and then I applied a second coat. You can see that in its raw form, the cedar is quite dull. Very beautiful, but dull nonetheless. One coat gives it kind of a nice sheen. And then two coats kind of evens out the edges. So that frog wood sealer, whatever it's called. I think I like two coats of that stuff the best. So now on top of that, I went ahead and coated one of my Adirondacks chairs with the same wood sealer. That chair is coated, that chair is not. And if we come in a little closer, you can start to see 
that the sealer kind of brings out the chair's characteristics. It makes it look a little bit wet. It kind of makes the colors pop. And just for perspective, the chair that has not been sealed looks a little bit old and weathered. You know, like if this was somebody's skin, that would be kind of dry and crackly. And this would be well moisturized. I'm very pleased with the results, both in the chairs as well as with my samples. And at this point, I feel confident enough to start applying that sealer onto the outside of the sauna.